Welcome guys, hey it's Monik Bond, I'm the CTO and founder of Search Atlas and today I'm going to be walking you guys through a bunch of new product that we've been releasing to improve the experience even more. So let's get started, let's dive in, there's a lot of updates to cover, we've been working very very hard and I cannot wait to show you guys all the new tools that we've created for you. So let's begin with the launch pad, this is the new home screen. The great thing about this home screen is it makes it really easy to see all of the projects you've been working on across Search Atlas all in one page. So you'll see all of the content assistant projects that you have, all of your on-page audits, followed by your content plans that you've created, which work into the content assistant tool, obviously, as you create the content plans and then work through them. We've also brought in our site auditor, one of our coolest new products. Uh, it's a real-time SEO auditing tool. Once you uh, crawl your site, it'll monitor your site map and look for any changes that you make and alert you about any problems that happen on the website that could be caused by your web developers or your content teams publishing content so that you know that there's a problem before Google finds out and before it hurts your site visibility. So you'll see the site audit tool here. Breaking down, you'll actually also see all of our research tools. The keyword research tool is probably one of my favorite new tools that I'm gonna talk about today. Super powerful, we've enhanced the capabilities on this tool so much We've been working on it for over three years, and so for us, this is a big milestone. For me personally, huge milestone. So uh, all of the research tools are now here, very easy to pick up where you left off, whether you're doing keyword research and looking to understand a keyword space and find related keywords that you wanna try to target and, and create content for, or backlink research where you're analyzing a competitor's backlink profile for potential link building opportunities, or maybe even just looking at your link building profile for how you guys have been doing and maybe looking for toxic backlinks, all of that will be contained in here in the backlink research tool. And of course our competitor research product, which is one of our most popular tools, allowing you to spy on your competitors and seeing what keywords are, are driving traffic for them and looking into their paid media strategies. And of course, GSC Insights is down here as well, so all of the projects that you connect into it for keyword rank tracking purposes are all gonna be found here. We've also added new superpowers to that tool where you can actually connect your Google Analytics to it so you can tell the full story from rankings all the way to revenue. And you'll also see a new keyword rank tracker feature which we're working on and that tool will be released in the next two weeks or so. So this is the new launch pad, we hope you guys love it. And let's dig into some of the updates in some of the other tools. So our content tool, this is one of our, our favorite tools. Uh, one of the most powerful tools for getting your landing pages and your blog posts to rank on the first page of Google. Over 10,000 pages have been optimized using our content assistant to get them ranking on page one of Google. And you'll see this tool has evolved so much from where it used to be. So much new power has been brought into this tool. So we've updated the grid view here, which is a lot more slick, a lot easier for writers to uh, see all the different focus terms that, that they need to include in the article. Very easy to hide focus terms you've already included in the article, so you can just focus on new ones you need to add. So that's been one of the big updates we've made. It's also possible if you're looking for only keywords that are related to a certain topic, like let's say link building, you wanted to write only about keywords, or, or you wanted to focus your content about link building, you can click on one of these um, bookmarks or clusters which will filter all of the focus terms you see to only be ones that contain link building. So very useful for writing. We've also juiced up the database of questions that we have, including so many more long tail questions. This is a really hard thing to do, and we've been indexing keywords now for the last three years to build a keyword database of over four billion keywords. It's huge and massive. So you're gonna find way more insight here. You're gonna find questions sorted by search volume, uh, you'll also see the cost per click of these questions. And remember, we have AI generation capabilities, so you can AI generate the answer to this question that you can then paste into the content. So that's been there for a while and that's still there. Uh, what else can I show you? Okay, and the link suggestions feature. So this has been one that we've improved upon a lot. Uh, the algorithm has gotten a lot better over time. And we've also simplified this to make it easier to use. So what this tool will do is it'll actually show you links that you might want to link to on the website. These could be blog posts or high value landing pages that are semantically related to the keywords that you're writing about here. So in this article, we've got a lot of target keywords that are specifically about link building. 
So a lot of the, the link suggestions are actually gonna be link building related content on the LinkCraft website that we've already included in our content. So that's all here. And there will be an option we're adding later this week to actually remove uh, link suggestions if you find them not to be relevant. Of course, remember, we've also got ex external link suggestions. One of the ranking factors Google's looking for are linking to reputable sites and authoritative sites. So what this helps you do is see for all the people ranking on, on page one and page two of Google, what are the authoritative resources that they're linking out to? These are probably safe resources for us to link to as well in our content because people are already linking to them and Google deems them authoritative clearly because that's why these sites are ranking on page one. Uh, you've also got competitor analysis here so you can see a full breakdown of all the competitors on page one of Google for each target keyword you specified. You can see their content score. You can see the domain rating of the site to see how authoritative they are relative to you. We've got that relevant terms grid in here, very visual, beautiful way to look at the overall landscape of focus terms and how competitors are using them. So all that great functionality is still here. We've also improved on the keyword recommendation engine. So uh, if you've got a couple keywords you think of that makes sense, this is a great way to find other keywords that you might not have thought about to add into this content optimization project. So to just add them, you just simply click add target keyword and these are immediately added to your project. So it's a very seamless workflow, very easy to use. Two other features I wanna highlight here that rock. One is the share link feature. So you can share this content editor project with any writer, any freelance writer, uh, any person on the team. They don't even have to be logged in. It's a public URL, so anyone can come in and help you knock out the content that you're working on here. The other tool uh, or feature I wanted to show you is the export brief button. So you click export brief and we will generate a content brief for this uh, project you're working on. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. It takes usually about maybe 10 seconds to generate and you'll get a full on content brief with everything that a writer might need to know when they're writing this article. It shows you the page one of Google SERPs, it shows you some useful metrics about the content scores that we've discovered for those, those SERPs. It includes the focus terms that are clustered. It'll even include uh, questions in here. Um, the people also ask questions that, that Google is, is telling us that people are searching for uh, and a lot of useful information to help the, the writers improve uh, their workflows around writing content here. Okay, so that's the Content Assistant tool. Um, there's also um, our one-click WordPress publishing feature, which I'm sure you guys have used at this point. It works great. Um, and a few other tidbits uh, and, and updates that we've made to this tool. All right, um, the next thing I wanna show you guys is the new keyword research tool. And this is the one that we've been working on for a long time. So let's jump in, let's take a look, Ford Mustang, great car. Uh, let's take a look at this, at this keyword research project here. So uh, as you guys can tell, we've improved this tool a lot, brought in so much new information about the keyword space. So you're, you're gonna see a lot of information here, including the keyword difficulty, which we've had before, but we fine-tuned the algorithm, made it even better now than it was before. We're also bringing in data about how many people are searching for this on desktop versus mobile, which is new. We're also bringing in SERP features, so you can see what SERP features we're finding in Google. There's also more CPC data about the paid media landscape around this keyword. You can see what percentage of people click on the paid ads versus the organic ads. What's the competitive density of all the people running ads? And if you're an e-commerce store, we've also brought in product listing ad information so you can see information about who is running those product listing ads and what they're paying. We've also got a lot more information, a lot of related keywords that we're bringing in through our, key, our expanded keyword database. And let's look at some of the really cool features that we've added here. So we've, we've, we've been harvesting keyword data and SERP data for years and years now. And you'll be able to go back to 2011 and see the rankings for keywords, if they're in our database, dating back in time. So it's kind of a time capsule. You can see what did the SERPs used to look like and then what do they look like today? So this is super powerful data and it's one that we're very pleased to be able to, br to bring uh, and give you guys so you guys can use this in your strategies. It's also helpful for uh, sometimes clients to be able to see how the SERPs have changed over time uh, and how Google's ranking factors are affecting the way that 
uh, search engine results work. It's a very useful tool. We've also got a, an improved SERP view. So we're bringing in all those SERP results, the ones that are not just organic results, but answer boxes, images, knowledge graph, uh, map panels, things like that. And uh, this is also a very useful tool down here. So this is actually showing you the paid media landscape around this keyword going back in time. So going back to 2012, I can see who is running ads and not just who, but what ads were they running? What was their, uh, their actual ad copy and what page were they promoting? So you'll be able to see all of that information for all of these advertisers. So this is really a treasure trove of data uh, and super powerful for organic teams and paid, te paid media teams to be able to understand uh, the competitive landscape and how competitors are approaching this keyword. We've also got the current ads that are being ran and some other keyword, uh, other keywords that people are running ads on that you guys might want to consider based on uh, our full keyword database and these competitors, what keywords they're bidding on. So a lot of really powerful competitor intelligence uh, is in here. Let's jump over to the site audit tool now. So this has been a, uh, a great tool for us. We're really excited to roll this out. Uh, this is our real-time SEO auditing tool. And I'm gonna start with our website so you can see some of our data. What this tool does is it monitors the website for changes. Anytime someone adds a new blog post or adds a new landing page, or modifies a page and changes it, we will crawl that page immediately as soon as we detect a change. So if you're on a paid plan, we monitor the sitemaps uh, between every 30 minutes to one hour. So we're checking very frequently and we're monitoring the site and showing you the health scores to see how the health has changed. We actually made a really big change to our website where we moved a lot of our blog posts to the slash blog uh, URL path. And when we did that, we actually made a few boo-boos. We, we broke a few links, so you can see our health score went down. Um, and it's, it actually helped us correct and fix a lot of those issues. We also kind of did it because we wanted to be able to see how the tool would, would respond and react. And it was really cool for our product teams to be able to have that experience. Um, but let's, let's look at the issues tab, which is one of the most useful tabs in here, where it will actually break down all of the different issues that we encounter on the website sorted and broken down by the health impact that fixing these issues will have on the website. So one of the big issues that we see often is that people really focus on the wrong things. Like, man, I gotta fix all my image alt text. Jeez, that's gonna take you so long. It's gonna take a long time to make those updates. And it's very manual. That will not have the same impact as let's say fixing your site-wide issues. Like, like if you're missing a robots file or you have a problem with your sitemap and, and the pages are not in the sitemap or you've got duplicate content or pages missing title tags and all kinds of other issues. Those are the issues to focus on. Don't worry about the other stuff. So we've helped make, make this process easier for teams by quantifying the health impact of those fixes with these health points. So as you fix these issues, you'll actually see that those scores um, will contribute to your site health increasing. For any issue in here, we give you a how to fix summary of what the issue is and a supporting piece of content on our academy that explains what the issue is and a little bit more information about how to fix it for web development teams. So one of the things that we've learned from doing SEO at scale with so many brands and supporting agencies in this process as well is that a lot of times technical SEO spend a lot of time with web development teams trying to help them understand what a certain technical issue is. And that, that can take quite a bit of time. So this process makes it a lot easier for web developers to get the information they need, to get the supporting resources they need to solve the issue very quickly. And it's made for uh, teams and collaborations. So you'll see all these reports are exportable to Google Sheets very easily. We love Google Sheets because it makes it easy for us to share and collaborate on that content. So we don't, we try to avoid the download to XLS feature because it's so annoying. And we, and we really prefer export to Google Sheets to, to enable that collaboration that I was talking about. Okay, uh, and we have alerts. So as I mentioned, when we detect issues or a change made on your website, we will dispatch these email alerts that'll get sent to you right away. So as soon as we detect the problem, boom, you're getting an alert notification. Hey, broken link detected. Uh, someone removed the, the title tag. The meta description has been removed as well. Uh, or maybe you have a duplicate uh, H1 or H2 on the page or, or things like that. As soon as we detect an issue or a problem, you're gonna get notified. And the email alert section allows you to control those notifications. So if you wanted to turn them off, or if you wanted to add a web developer to receive certain notifications, 
you can configure the way that these notifications work down here and we will be adding support for Slack and Microsoft Teams so you can push the alerts into your, your, your Slack and Teams uh, channels for your teams to consume and monitor uh, and help you guys uh, work through the issues. We've also sped up the Page Explorer significantly to make it a lot faster um, to look at the pages on the website uh, and go through them and, and look for, for what issues they need to be resolved and rectified. So this is our Page Insights view where we'll actually crawl the page and recrawl the page as you stay on the page to see what's changing and alerting you of, of issues. So it's actually a really good way, a good workflow. If there are problems with the page, you can go in and fix them and, and click recrawl and verify that those issues have been resolved correctly uh, before you can move on. So you don't need to keep running a full on site crawl. Just hit recrawl on the page, verify that the issue has been fixed and that the health score goes up and you'll see the issue will go away. So it's a really powerful workflow for web development teams to be able to do that. Um, and of course, if you're an agency, uh, one of the biggest requests that we have from our agency partners is that they wanted to be able to white label this experience for their clients. So we now support that as well. We support full white labeling on this dashboard for agencies. You guys can uh, bring in your logos. It'll replace our logo with yours. You can also run Search Atlas on your subdomain, so dashboard.yourwebsite.com. And all of the emails that we send, the GSC alert notifications, the site auditor alert notifications, all of that will also be white labeled for you with your branding uh, as well. So that was one of the most uh, popularly requested features. Um, as far as new products, so I, I wanna let you guys know about three really cool new features that we're gonna be releasing very soon here. The first one is Auto, which is our SEO recommendation engine. What we're doing as an agency, we basically figured out a combination of strategies and tactics that we can execute on any website to improve their SEO. And we've been doing this for a long time, for over 10 years now. So those, uh, those strategies, we're actually uh, gonna be automating them so that for any client that you're working with, we'll give you a full set of recommendations on how to optimize their website for SEO and how to fix it and give you a set of tasks that you can work on each week and just bang through and you'll see the results. You'll be able to track the progress of the SEO in relation to solving those tasks. So that tool will be released in the next two weeks. We're also gonna be releasing a new keyword rank tracker. So you'll be able to set up projects, track keywords inside Search Atlas as well, very common request that we heard across the board. Um, it will also show you competitor information. So for all the keywords you're tracking, we'll also be analyzing and monitoring, not just your rankings, but your competitors' rankings and give you updates on how the competitor landscape is changing and give you guys alerts about what we're seeing and the trends that are happening there. Those uh, rank tracking projects are also gonna be hyper-local supported. So if you've got local clients that are in, let's say, uh, like Miami, Florida, where I am right now, you'll be able to track local rankings down to that city level or zip code level or state level, or whatever it is you're looking for. And soon we will also be adding heat maps for local SEO clients. Uh, and then finally, we're gonna be revamping the site auditor uh, alerts as well as the issues list. So stay tuned for that. Uh, a lot of cool product updates coming at you. Uh, engineering team right now is feeling hyper caffeinated. We're, we're building a lot of new products and we're looking forward to seeing how you guys use them to achieve your SEO goals for, the, for Q4 2022 going into Q1 of next year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, you know, stay in touch with me, stay in touch with Linkgraph. Uh, you can hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter is Matt Bonick. Uh, and yeah, look forward to talking to you guys soon. Peace.